St. Lucia. We are finally off the boat in St. Lucia and I am so excited. I have been wanting to go to St. Lucia for years now because it just looks so beautiful and incredible and amazing. And today we are doing a catamaran tour. We're gonna go to the pythons, the freaking famous pythons, and we're gonna snorkel a little bit and I just am so excited. city of Castri and now we're going to sail on the west side of the island and the most important part is that we're going to go to the pythons. Those blue buildings out in the distance store crude oil from Saudi Arabia before it is shipped to the United States to be refined. We're hitting a bit of rough seas now. We're getting a little bit wet, but it honestly feels pretty good. We are getting so close to the pythons and I'm getting so excited. We've been able to see just the tip of them for the whole catamaran ride, but when we turn this corner, we're gonna see all of them. I cannot believe how beautiful these are. I don't even know how places like this actually exist. It's just so magical. Oh my god, I got so excited I couldn't talk. Look at how beautiful they are. The pythons are actually volcanoes and they last erupted in the 1700s. So probably won't erupt while we're here. But that'd be kind of cool. that I've researched and seen so many pictures of for so long that while we're here, I just can't believe that we're actually looking at them and they're real and they're just as beautiful as I imagined. Jenny already said that we are coming back to St. Lucia so we can just stay here a lot longer and experience the pythons. You can actually take mud baths while you're up there. Because it's so hot and it's just like a nice, there's so many things you can do. You can hike on them, you can bike on them, you can take mud baths in the volcanic ash, I don't know. There's just so many things you could do. I feel like we're just barely scratching the surface. I believe this small village over here was the first village in all of St. Lucia, right next to the Pythons. This resort I think is called Sugar Beach. It's a super popular one because it's right next to the Pythons. Our sail just broke, so we're kind of just drifting right into the cliff. Just drifting, just chilling. All is well, we turned on the motor. We are totally drenched. Oh man. We're making a stop at this beach. It looks like a black sand beach because it is volcanic. And I think we're gonna do some snorkeling too.
that was one of the best snorkeling experiences we've ever had. We saw so many cool fish. Most of them were really bright. We saw puffer fish. There was a baby puffer fish. That was so cute. Uh, what else did we see? Oh, uh, there was a fish eating another fish. And I think it like spit it out of its mouth because it was too big to swallow. That was awesome. I hope we captured that on video. Wow. So we're pretty sure we saw a trumpet fish. It was like the really long one we saw kind of at the beginning. Wow. Like <laughs> We only had maybe like 20 or 30 minutes to swim around, but we saw a loss. We have been living in the Caribbean for so long and we haven't had any rum punch yet. So we finally got some rum punch and this is the strongest rum. Jacob thinks it's 160 proof, which is crazy. They did say it's the strongest rum. So maybe it is, I honestly don't know. Finally got our rum punch! We have arrived to the famous Marigo Bay. This is Marigo Bay. I don't see any roads anywhere. I think all of this is accessible just by boat. So the restaurants, the hotels, everything. You can only get here if you take your boat into the bay. And here is the sandals of St. Lucia. We're at Airplane Beach again. That was so fun just getting to snorkel with all those fish and now we are getting off the catamaran back onto our cruise ship. So sad, but it was a great time out here. Cruise excursions are interesting because like it's not like we got to experience the whole country. I mean like it's pretty crazy. There's a population of almost 200,000 people and like we didn't really get to experience that much. Just like one little thing about St. Lucia and it was beautiful don't get me wrong but like we didn't really get to see a whole lot or interact with the local people and so like yes we had a great time but I still feel like there's a lot more to explore. We will definitely be back this was one of the best days that we've ever had it was so fun just snorkeling and seeing all the cool fish and the beautiful mountains we will definitely be back St. Lucia.